Hi guys, welcome to another Conquilla. Um, I hope you like what I have in store for you today because it's one of my favorites. Patterns. Well, let's start it off with a good one. It's a fire pattern. And I really like it, especially if you use it with dark walls. I chose wood because it's a warm feeling also with the fire. Looks great. I use pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns instead of orange. Simply because I don't need additional lighting now. I can have a totally dark, dark ceiling. I can have totally dark walls. It will give enough light. The second room also really nice it's a pattern I use a lot actually because it's so simple and it looks very sophisticated especially if you continue in the walls like that and I really like this you can do it with any materials you can do it with wool or different kinds of stone I just like mixing these half steps because I, I think this looks funny that's all and the next one is also a very much used pattern of mine. This is quite easy, it's a simple wave. You can make it however you want. Just pick free colors or free materials. I like the ton sur ton effect of it. Create a wave and fill in the other halves. As you can see, you can easily use it with steps you can easily decorate this and for the walls I just picked simple planks with some glowstone touches you can also place torches of course if you don't have any glowstone yet let's see what we got upstairs this one is very simple it's a checkerboard but it's also really nice especially if you don't have fancy walls yet <laughs> you just create a dark one and a light one and you just make them jump so they're not the same they are opposite placements I'll give you a point of view from upstairs so you can see it I really like it it's it's simple it's easy uh, these colors are pretty easy to get you can replace the glow with the light grey, uh, add some torches, looks great. Here we have another checkerboard. I love the combination of the nether brick and the sandstone. I don't, it doesn't matter whether you put sandstone walls or nether brick walls, it just it looks really gorgeous. Again I place some glow for some extra lighting, but it's not necessary of course, I just like how it looks. Over here we have a very simple but very nice flower pattern. Pick any base color and any two colors for flowers. And I really like to put uh, clay because this is kind of, how do you say, plain. You can uh, add some clay walls and uh, clay brick walls and make it look really nice. And last but not least, I really went wild on this one in the wall design. I uh, took a base floor of black, black wool, because uh, obsidian was a bit too shiny in my opinion. And I just made like a swirl of glow all around the room and the same with the like with the fire below you just add the lighter colors on all sides of the glow you add the darker colors on all sides of the lighter and then you have a really dark color that fills in like the rest and I love how this looks you, you can use this for anything you can make your storage or your bedroom or I just really like it. Well, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna quickly create some patterns for you to show you how I normally make them. Be right back. 
so here we are let's do some pattern making first thing I want to show you is you just create a line let's add a little bit more you can go whatever size you want use the brightest material to create a line with and just go darker by placing it directly against the bright spots And the darkest color will be your fill-in color. So that way the pattern will really stand out. There we go. That's the first thing I wanted to show you. You can do whatever you want use all kinds of colors the second one is geometrical pattern and I'm using gold lapis and sandstone this time to give you like oriental feeling well at least I always like it for one building in deserts and stuff this is my choice of it how pretty is that last thing I want to show you is the little checkerboard with light and dark colors I did also real easy let's start here this is your light square dark square and this one you do opposite so Normally this would be light gray, I'm gonna use white now. Again, here, normally this would be black, so we're using this one. And this will be repetition of this. And then the third row will be a repeat of that row, so. Back there. There. Goes there. there you have it! Checkerboard with a little twist. This pattern you can use with anything. Same goes for this one. And I'm pretty sure you can come up with your own epic stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!